Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a May Favorites video. I went to Boracay in May recently and there was just a lot of items that I tried out while I was in Boracay. Things that I've changed in my routine. Um, I wouldn't say because of Boracay, but after I got back, there was definitely a change in just my routine of my skincare and just the things that I've been doing for my skin. So that is something that I'm going to be talking about. And also... That is pretty much it and a little bit of the items that I've been really loving in May, so yes, let's get with it. So for those of you guys who have actually watched my Boracay vlogs, you guys know that this is a cleansing device that I was actually using in Boracay, but I didn't make any remarks about it because it was only around a week of me using the product so I didn't really have a lot of insight on it and just my personal opinion on it I wanted to try out the product more but basically this is the Foreo Luna Mini 2 and it looks like this as you guys can tell it has little tiny silicone bristles and the back looks like this where you could charge it it actually claims to last for around six months and then after um, you could just charge it and it'll work well how you turn it on is basically you just press this button once and it'll vibrate. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Like this. And then what you do is, while you have your foam cleanser on your face, you just go over your face like this. Just for like around a minute, they claim that um, a minute is good enough. And also, it actually claims to remove 99% of all dirt makeup and just things that are stuck in your pores so those you guys who are looking for a cleansing device i definitely recommend this one it's now been around a month of that i've been using this product and i definitely feel like it is a lot better than me cleansing with my hands um for me i always have something like just like a doubt i'm like oh my god did i cleanse enough did i thoroughly cleanse enough but with this i know that it is a lot better and I just like the feeling of it like in the morning. I know it just sounds weird but it kind of feels like I'm getting like a facial or at night time when I'm super tired. Um, I still like to go and just finish my cleansing routine with this. So for those of you guys who are in the market for just a cleansing device, I definitely recommend this one. Also, pink is not the only color. There is a variety of colors. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll link it in the bottom below. Next up, it is a sunscreen that I've actually been using. This is a product that I found out recently through my Boracay um, just experience. While I was going to Boracay, I actually bought a lot of skincare products and a lot of um, sun products that I wasn't personally using beforehand. And this one is the one that I love. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, I've been using Lagom's foam cleanser and then I really want to try out their sun line so basically this is a sunscreen that i've actually tried out this is the lago sell up sunscreen and it looks like this it's pretty tiny um i would say it's just like very lightweight you could carry it around with you it's perfect for travel size as well but even after coming back from boracay i have been using this on my skin the reason why i like it is because that it is very lightweight and it absorbs into my skin very well i'm not the type of person who likes sunscreen that just kind of doesn't absorb very well i like it just so it feels like like a lotion and basically this is I wouldn't say it's as thin as a lotion, but I wouldn't say it's like super thick as like a cream. Um, it's like in the middle, as you guys can tell, the sun gel. So I feel like it's like the perfect balance and I just love it and I've just been using it ever since I got back from Boracay. So thank you Boracay for uh, introducing me to this product because if it wasn't for Boracay or if it wasn't for me going on a trip to Boracay, I don't think I would have ever, you know, tried a new product or a sun product, but basically this was a lifesaver in Boracay and also just my routine in Korea right now. So I have actually changed up my whole skincare routine. Um, my foam cleanser is the same. I've been using the Lagom foam cleanser. As you guys know, I did put that in one of my favorites before. And so what I want to talk about is recently when I went to Boracay, I tried out a travel-sized 
collection of a brand that I never tried before and I didn't take any of the skincare that I personally took with me or the skincare that I personally used on a daily basis because I wanted to try it on new skincare. Um, the skincares were working for me but I just wanted to take travel size items and just new items because I feel like for me I'm the type of person there are two types of people. I'm the type of person that likes to try a lot of samples while I'm on a trip because basically I'm never going to be using those samples if I am not on a trip so this time around I actually took I took this with me and it's the Trilogy Rose Hip Collection so for those of you guys who don't know Rose Hip is actually really good for people who have acne prone skin because it calms the skin down and I actually was very skeptical about using it um, I was contemplating if I should only take this but this is actually the only skincare that I took with me on my trip to Boracay and I used everything here. I used basically the hydrating mist toner, the moisturizing cream, and the oil. And the whole time in Boracay, there was a day where I did not wear makeup because I had to go scuba diving. And I'm the type of person who always likes to at least have some sort of like BB cream or CC cream or just like a type of foundation or like a cushion at least on my face. Um, it is really, really, really uncommon for me to just go out the house, you know, in front of people that I haven't really met for the first time bare face. That was actually just a breaking point for me. Um, the first two days, I did wear makeup, and then the third day, I did not wear makeup. But for the first two days, I was using this product, and I realized that it cleared my red spots and just my hyperpigmentation a lot so the third day I was actually pretty confident in my skin to be just going out um, barefaced you know enjoying just the Boracay water and just you know snorkeling it was great so first of all I want to say thank you to rose hip oil for actually just helping me to be just a little bit more confident with my skin so upon coming back from Boracay I was using this product just you know using it and I actually finished the mist toner and the vitalizing cream so guys it worked so well for me that I actually bought the bigger size versions so I am super excited to try out the bigger versions. I'm the type of person when I try out a sample I'm not the type of person to actually repurchase them again I never repurchase an item after using a sample and this is actually the first time because I felt like it just worked really good for my skin My skin has been glowing and I've actually been getting a lot of compliments on my skin like oh my god your skin looks so good Like have you changed your skincare? And I told them that I really did. Um, I've been using rosehip oil. I've been using rosehip just in my routine and I definitely think that for those of you guys who do have acne prone skin I definitely check out rosehip oils or anything that has rosehip in it um, it works great and my just like the pigmentation in my skin has definitely reduced a lot um, yeah because I was actually able to go out barefaced you know in Boracay with in front of people that I didn't even know which is not really common for me but yeah, it definitely helped me with my skin and after that, to be honest, when I came to Korea, there was a lot of moments that I was kind of just going out bare skin because I just felt really good in my skin and my skin just felt really great. So these are a new item in my skincare routine and hopefully they go for a long time because I feel like it's just working great for my skin now and I hope it doesn't change. Next up, it is going to be a shoe, and I'm gonna ask you guys to guess what shoe you guys think it is um, in the comments. Obviously, you guys are gonna be end up seeing the shoe, but I want to see if you guys can actually, you know, get the shoe right. I did cop a shoe in May, and um, yes, I'm gonna be bringing it out. Wait a minute. So the shoe that I copped in May were the bread. Oh. So, just for like five seconds, I just want you guys to just, you know, take take a look at the shoe, you know, admire it because, guys, like, how freaking fire is that? And it has Air Jordan on the inside. Whoa, whoa! I saved it. These are actually my first pair of fours. And um, I'm glad that they are the breads that I got for the first time. 
The only problem was I just didn't know what size to get. I usually wave around from 4.5Y to 5Y and um, it just depends on the series and just the shoe. Um, the 6s, I usually go for 4.5Y and then like the 11s, I usually go for 5Y. Um, that's just because on my 11s, I like to have just more of a comfortable feel and then 4.5Y on the 6s definitely feel like even a little bit loose sometimes. So for me, I was just contemplating what I should get, uh, if I should get the 4.5Y or the 5Y, but I ended up getting the 5Y and I'm really glad that I did make that decision because for me, I do think that since they are 5Y, they're a little bit more comfortable for me when I'm just walking in it or just, you know, moving around in it. And guys, these are definitely not gonna be my last pair of fours. Um, I love, I love it. I love how it looks on my feet. I love how just it feels. Um, I definitely do understand why a lot of people like fours as their favorite series. Um, for me, I didn't think that they were gonna beat the 11s. I'm not saying that they did beat the 11s, but I love 11s. 11s is like my favorite series. And I do think that the fours are coming up there. I do think that they're like, they're like very close. So um, definitely these aren't gonna be my last fours. I do wanna buy the Oreos, yes. And yeah, I'm just like super excited to just be wearing these in the summer. They gonna look so good. Mm -hmm. Let me know um, what you guys copped, what shoes you guys copped in the month of May. Uh, in the month of June, I might cop the snakeskin 11s. I'm not sure yet. Um, there's like a woman's size, like a pink one that's coming out and also just like a gray one. Uh, I don't know, I'm not the biggest fans of lows and I do not own any low like 11s. So I don't know. I think that's the only reason why I'm kind of like contemplating if I should get the shoe. But um, for you guys who are wondering like what shoe that I wanna cop next is probably gonna be the satin black toes. I love black toes. I was actually gonna buy a pair of black toes before like, you know, I heard that the satin black toes was gonna come out. And I even thought like, oh my, I'm just gonna get the black toes. I'm not gonna get the satin black toes, but the satin black toes look fire too. So I think I'm gonna be copying those. I heard that they came come out um, August 31st. So that's like right before my birthday. So I'm hoping that I can cop a pair for myself or my birthday present and yeah that'll be great oh my god actually guys I want to talk about this recently I was on Nike and I was trying to cop the fear of God raids and I've actually been copying like shoes on Nike like when the 10 a.m. like clock hits I've been buying shoes and I actually bought these like on 10 a.m. too and Recently, like I was so confident in myself. I was so confident. I was so confident that I was gonna be able to get the raids and I was like, Psh, I got it. And I got booted out like three times. So I ended up not getting the shoe. I couldn't buy the shoe. And the only things that were left were like the mocks and like, they're like, nobody's buying them. I still go on Nike now and the mocks are still there, which I understand because the raids are so much better than the mocks, but I was very disappointed that I got kicked out and that I didn't like buy bots. People are like, why don't you just buy bots? I was like, I don't even know how to freaking like buy bots and like I don't even know how to do that. Like, but I was just like mad because I was like, okay, I understand the struggles that a lot of guys go through because usually I'm just fighting for like the GS sizes. So I'm able to get them pretty quick, um, like within a minute. But then I was like, this time I was like, oh, this is how it feels like when the guy that would be trying to cop other shoes because it was just really hard for me and I wasn't able to get the shoe. Um, at the same time, I wasn't gonna pay like resale prices for it, so yeah, pretty sad about those. That's not a May favorite, it's like a May like downfall, like let down, you know? A May L. It was a loss for sure and pretty sad about that. Yep. Last but not least, it is this lens, um, I did let you guys know that I bought a new lens recently. Um, I bought 
the EFM 22mm lens and this lens is amazing. It basically blurs out like the background a lot more than like my camera right now would. This is just like the kit lens so basically it doesn't block out like the back too much but with this lens I've been taking a lot of great pictures and also just a lot of great videos. Um, I'm super excited to be just using more of this lens on my channel. Today I'm filming with just a different lens because I wanted to show you guys just how the lens looks like. It's actually really tiny and compact. It's like super cute. For those of you guys who are also wondering too, I also got a lot of comments um, on my recent Boracai vlog of what camera I was using and I'm using the Canon M50. Um, to be honest, I was contemplating a lot when I first started off YouTube if I should get the Canon M50 or if I should just get the G7X Mark II. But I definitely do think that I made a better decision with getting the M50. It is a lot bigger than the G7X so sometimes for vlogging, um, like it's not the best because it is a lot bigger. But I would definitely say that the quality and also the fact that I could actually change the lenses with my camera now is just a plus because I get to have a variety in the types of just filming that I'm going to be doing and I'm super excited because these have been just taking great pictures and videos so yeah. I would say this is basically May favorites for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this May favorites video. These are actually not a lot of products that I had, but just my whole skincare routine and just the things that I was doing with my skincare changed. So I wanted to share with you guys because, you know, like the Luna Mini 2, I was trying it out, but I didn't get to give you guys my personal opinion about it. And I love it. And I'm so glad that I got to try it out. And also just the Rose Collection with Trilogy, it's great. Like, I'm so glad that I'm going to be trying out the bigger versions because they worked so well with me and just my skin now. Um, and yeah, hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next video, bye. Uh, you always such a for a better thing. Wanna replace me? I'm in a place that I've never been. It's worse than lonely. Cause someone tell me they say good in me, there's good in me